What is L2HGA in Staffordshire Terriers? L2HGA in Staffordshire Terriers is a neurometabolic disorder characterised by elevated levels of L2 hydroglutic acid in urine, plasma and cerebrospinal fluid. L2HGA affects the central nervous system with clinical signs usually apparent between the age of 6 months and 1 year. Common signs of L2HGA Seizures, fits, epilepsy ataxia, wobbly walking, dementia and other behavioural changes, tremors and cramps, especially of the back legs. Other signs reported include loss of obedience training and disorientation. Signs may start suddenly or gradually. Many affected dogs live into their teens but some die or anaesthetise at just a few months old due to severe symptoms, especially fits. Why test for L2HGA? In the UK there are two groups of Staffordshire Bull Terriers, a group which are routinely tested prior to breeding and those that are not. Information about tested dogs that are kennel club registered shows that these dogs, which are mostly show or breeding dogs, are virtually clear of L2HGA. The occurrence of L2HGA in historically untested dogs has not altered since testing began in 2008. In these dogs, about 10-15% to 15 are considered to be carriers of the L2HGA mutation. By testing both male and female dogs before breeding, owners can ensure that the pups are inheritably clear they cannot have the mutation. If just the male or the female are tested to save money, the pup will not have symptoms of L2HGA but could still be a carrier. Testing for L2HGA By DNA testing, the responsible mutation can be shown directly. This method provides a test with a very high accuracy and can be done at any age. It offers the possibility to distinguish not only between affected and clear dogs, but also to identify clinically healthy carriers. This is an essential information for controlling the disease in the breed as carriers are able to spread the disease in the population but cannot be identified by means of common laboratory diagnostics. To ensure maximum test reliability, the test is always performed in two independent test runs per sample. In the UK, tests for L2HGA are run at the Animal Health Trust. Samples submitted should be cheek swabs, a non-invasive sampling method, what do the results mean? Clear. The dog has two copies of the normal gene and will neither develop L2HGA nor pass a copy of the L2HGA gene to any of their offspring. Carrier. The dog has one copy of the normal gene and one copy of the mutant gene that causes L2HGA. They will not develop L2HGA but will pass on the L2HGA gene to 50% on average of their offspring. Affected. The dog has two copies of the L2HGA mutation and is affected with L2HGA. They will develop L2HGA at some stage during their lifetime, assuming they live to an appropriate age. Mm -hmm.